Hi everybody! Welcome back! I'm Cutis Patu, your resident graphic designer and artist who is obsessed with album art. And this is the second month now of recreating album art that I love or that I'm kind of obsessed with. And for February, I picked one that was really befitting of... You can see me talking with my hands, it's so fun. I picked one that's befitting of the spirit of the season of Valentine's Day. Um, for better or for worse, I think that romantic holidays are super fun and I think that that really hits in Be Still My Heart from Baby Girl and I had to do Baby Girl. I had to do Baby Girl this year for sure but I really wanted to do it as soon as possible because I love them so much and they were my top Spotify artist so uh, last year and they were in the I think they were number two the year before so I have predictions that they will really only currently be rivaled with the beaches who I did last month so course I did this album and immediately I can say that this shoot was the most aesthetic as you might have seen from the intro that I've done in like a while I had so much fun with it I loved working with a practical light effect instead of trying to do everything in the post and the edits and I am really excited to share with you guys how I did everything so slightly less long spiel up front Let's dive into some of the facts, some of the fun, and the actual, like, process. I did have a surprise while I was looking for the credits for this um, album cover, and I saw, I was reading through an article before I had actually looked for the credit, I was looking about, like, some facts, some reactions to the album, and I saw some, all of the photos, it said courtesy of Becca Hamill, photography by Becca Hamill, and I was like... I know that name. <laughs> yeah, I know that name. Um, so Becca Hamill is the photographer behind the cover for this, and Becca Hamill is also the photographer behind Blame My Ex by the Beaches that we did last month. <laughs> that was unintentional. I guess it just turns out that I'm a huge Becca Hamill fan. Love your work. Uh, clearly aspire to it. So the, yes, the album art the cover uh, and the like promotional photography was by Becca Hamill for Baby Girl's fourth EP. It was released um, April 14th, 2023. So it's uh, Kiki Francis and Cameron Bright. It's really hard to pick a favorite song from this EP because I listen to it so much. But I think the Dark Horse, by Dark Horse I mean the one that I wasn't expecting to become my fave above the ones that were already my fave is Me, You, and My Car, which is also where the line Be Still My Heart uh, comes in and I I just am obsessed with it. for the shoot what I did was I have I have a light I have these um, colored pieces of film that you can insert over them so I did a red insert and oh my god it's so rich it's so beautiful I almost wanted to film the whole vlog that way I'm not gonna lie and then the practical effects super fucking cool so i was like thinking about it and i hadn't looked it up yet and then i was scrolling on tiktok one day and i found this tutorial and it was it was originally first star but i was like of course you do this with anything you do this with heart so i grabbed a toilet paper roll and some paper and i put it together and i taped it to roommate's phone and i held it in my hand slightly off not always off camera and i aimed it at my directly at my eyeball which gave me a raging headache we are horizontal again just finished the shoot i just got the shot uh i think it, looked, it turned out so cool um whew, full transparency mentioned it before but i'm disabled and chronically ill i have chronic pain i cannot stand for very long it's also shining that little heart light into my eye Um, but other than that, the edits went pretty smoothly. I knew I had to get like a nice rough grain, so I used the below setting of grain, of noise, instead of the first like default setting on Procreate, and I set it like as a slightly bigger than usual. And then um, she had more shadow in front of her. I had my lights, I believe, in a different position than they did for the shoot. I mean, first of all, they definitely had more than one, um, so <laughs> that'll do it. But... Um, in order to kind of offset that, I took a gray-blue tone. More gray than blue, but it was like a cool-toned gray, but a really like rich one. And I went over where I would have more shadow, because you could see my 
like features very prominently and they're like very covered in shadow in the original cover and then um uh, as you noticed in the beginning i accidentally cut my shoulder off in the photo so to offset that i so i did paint my shoulder that is obviously as you saw not my not the actual end of my body um i painted that and i matched it with the shadows it took a little bit to get the right values in the right places and then blended slightly but not too much because i didn't want it to look like weirdly like airbrushed and smooth um i just kind of emulated some of the folds and some of the ways that shadows would have fallen and i knew that it was also going to get like you know noised and grained up so i got away with it i think and it was honestly it was a very simple edit it did not take too long simple not in a way of like it's not like complicated or hard but i mean simple in the way of like it was very straightforward because i'd thought about it extensively for like weeks of exactly how i would have to go about achieving each separate thing so while it's simple in execution right now in the edit it took weeks and weeks of thinking and planning uh, because i am recreating something which means that i'm not just you know spontaneously creating and seeing what i can make but i'm trying to get a very specific result and i think that it was a really really successful study and i had a lot of fun making it all right see you next time